Well, hello, my fabulous friends. I hope you're doing well. Well, um, one of the things came up in the aura reading that I did, and it was about Edward, about Prince Edward. He's looking very, very frail. And I know he's been doing a lot of traveling and around the world. And I know I've read on him on his health before, and it just was stress, stress, stress. And there's questions coming up about uh, their marriage. And are they, you know, are they in a low spot in your marriage? And hey, who who doesn't go through that? That doesn't mean they're separating. It just means, you know, a little bit of a time out or a little bit of a reassessment. Plus, he's going through his Saturn return right now. Uh, so I'm going to be using the Oracle of Oddities. I've got all three sets here. Uh, they have body parts on them. So let's find out um, a little bit more about Prince Edward's health. Um, let's just go a little bit deeper into that. The Prince Edward's health. Prince Edward's health. And these aren't tarot cards. They're oracle cards, but they've got a lot of body parts on them. So let's see if we can uh, get something out of these cards um, about his health. Uh, maybe I might pull out the gossip cards and see what's going on uh, with their marriage. Um, but let's see what's going on with Prince Edward's health. He, you know, I know everybody was alarmed earlier about how much weight he had lost, but he's lost more. He's, he's not looking slender anymore. He's looking frail. He doesn't look like he's turning 60. He looks like he's turning 80. Um, like he's, he's aged quite a bit. He's aged quite a bit. Like I think he looks much older than Andrew and Andrew's the older brother. Um, let's see, Prince Edward, Prince Edward, what's a good, what's, what's a health reading? What's going on with his health? What's the energy around his health? Prince Edward, what's the energy around his health? What's the energy around his health? Prince Edward. Cards are ready. All right. Ooh, breath, lungs. Is he a smoker? I don't know. Love. Oh. Passion. We're getting heart here. Heart and lungs. Eternity. Oh, Remembrance Day. Oh. What was going on Remembrance Day? Hostility. So we got two hands. I'll reflect. We've got a heart again. And power. Well, he is stressed about his new position, isn't he? What's underlying here? Oh, improve. I like this. Improve. Um, something transformed on Remembrance Day for him. Because we have the uh, the moth here. Uh, something transformed. He talked to somebody else and something transformed. I'm getting that we've got heart and lungs here. But this says more passion and love. And then, of course, with hostility, that's not somebody who he's fighting with. And reflect, and this is on his love on his heart, and then power, and then power, and then improve. I wonder if he's just heart sick. I wonder if he's just heart sick. Let's put this one down and then clarify. Let's clarify this love and passion, please. Clarify this love and passion, this heart here. Is he just heart sick? I mean... And breath. Or, you know, this could be blood too. Love and passion. Clarify this, please. Oh, those two jumped out. Mada, Mada, Maldahara. Oh, well, that would be, I think that's S-E-X. <laughs> so that would be passion, right? Savita. Oh, that's his um, root chakra. And that's his sacral chakra. Oh, yeah. 
I think we've got somebody here who is, um, oh, might get kind of personal here. Um, I think we've got somebody here who's really lost their passion, um, especially when it comes to uh, sexual passion. I'm just going to say it. I'm just going to say it. Um, and look at even just look at like no expression whatsoever. Interesting. These have no expression. And then then here improves. So I wonder if he's starting to talk about his problems. Not his intimate problems, but like talk that, you know, maybe they're maybe they've decided to go to marriage counseling or something. And you think how difficult that would be in the UK to make sure it was private and you think how difficult that would be. And I know they all sign NDAs and everything, but could you really feel comfortable knowing that, you know, who knows in 20, 30 years, it's in somebody's book, right? Oh, one more. Love. He's lovesick. He's heartsick. He's lovesick. I think it's just all, I think it is. Let's, let's reflect on this, reflect this hostility. What's this hostility all about? But it looks like on Remembrance Day, he talked to somebody or like he was in agreement with somebody. Isn't that crazy how that all showed up? Hostility, reflect, and power. What's the hostility power about? What's the hostility power about? Please clarify that for me, please. Please clarify that for me, please. Does anybody know? Is there something wrong with his hands? Because isn't that interesting? Hands showed up, but there's no legs, right? Let's see. Vision. Vision. Friendship. Maybe they just want to be friends. Maybe they've come to an agreement that they're just going to be friends. Dreams, interesting, we have two spines here. Maybe growing a spine, maybe growing a spine. And then we have power, we have skull, we have a, we have a skull, skull, skull. So that would, to me would be mental stress. Those are all mental um, mental health things or like your dreams are, are, are mental, they aren't physical. Power is a, is, is a, is a thought. Uh, vision here. I don't think they're talking about eyes because there are no eyes here, but there, there's a skull and a spine. So maybe a vision for um, um, the future. I think they're, they're in agreement here just to become, to be friends. I think, I think they're, they're no longer lovers right now. Now this does say improve. So maybe they've gone from hostility to friends. Let's see. But I'm not getting anything like, um, we aren't getting like a lot of blood here. So I don't think there's anything wrong with this blood. We aren't getting a lot of organs here. Other than I've got lungs and heart. But that could just be the chest cavity, right? I mean, you think about it when you're stressed, you hold your breath, right? Um, but he over here is more thoughts and vision and friendship, more things that aren't really of the body, but more of the mind. Even hostility is more of the mind than the body. Well, please clarify and prove, please. I think... Well, you know what? Remembrance Day or, or Armistice Day that you call in the UK that or the um, the show that they went to at the Royal Albert Theater. That was the first time they've been seen together since summer, you know, for for two months. Oh, what popped out here? Merge. Oh, I think. Let's see. Embrace. 
more of the hands. Ego. Oh. And humanity. I think they're going to come together over some of their charitable work. What's the underlying here? Victory. Oh, look at that. Okay. So I think right now, I think they've gone from being separated and physically separated. I mean, I don't even have to say my sources are allegedly, they were in different parts of the world or different, like they hadn't appeared at, at the same thing at the same time in months. And finally on Remembrance Day, they did. And I think they've agreed to be friends and re to drop the hostility so that they can work on um, trying, trying to get back together. But I think Edward's problems are, he's just heart sick. Like, um, yeah, it's just, and, and of course that's affecting his passion, isn't it? So it's affecting, you know, um, and maybe that's their problem. I don't want to get too intimate here. <laughs> maybe that was the, one of the reasons why they've, they've kind of separated. I don't know. Um, I would just be guessing, but it looks like to me that they are going to come to some kind of agreement. Um, I think just more for the children. I think they're going to come to some kind of agree uh, agreement. They're going to embrace here. Um, they're going to come to some kind of something. And uh, with this victory card here, come together once more. So, yeah, and, you know, so these cards still back up that there's nothing inherently wrong with Edward. Um, it's stress. It's stress. Like like I said, some people, when they're stressed, they eat and drink, and some people can't eat. And that, like, I'm like that. If I'm really stressed, I can't eat. I can't. I, it'll just, it'll, even if I try, I'll come right back out. Um, so I think he has the same thing. So I think that's why he's, he's looking so frail. Um, even these hands look so skinny. I'm thinking that, you know, I wonder if on remember, that's so crazy that this, this card showed up about, on, we just did Remembrance Day. I wonder if somebody talked to him and said, my God, Edward, yeah, will you please eat or, or do something to fix something? Cause um, you know, you're not looking well. I wonder if somebody like gently said something to him. Um, but I'm glad to see they've agreed to be friendly and maybe try and work things out. And, uh, possibly they will. And especially for the children. And you know what? We all, all our marriages go through low, low points and high points and all points in between. It's just, I would hate to do my low points in, in the public, <laughs> like they have to, uh, God bless them. All right. Well, thank you very much for watching. I sure appreciate you and, uh, take good care. Bye for now. Mm-hmm. <laughs>